<coughs> right, hey guys, I haven't made a video in quite some time, so I thought, hey, why not go and do one now? I recently uh, made a film for my uni course, which, I don't know, I'm guessing if you've subscribed, you've probably seen that video. That, that was quite a fun thing to do, so I thought I'd kind of talk about it. So yeah, I just uh, recently made a movie for a uni course, so I decided to go for more of a comedy route for it, which everyone else in the class kind of went for a more serious route. I, I haven't actually seen their videos, so I don't know if it's actually what, what their videos are like. So I guess I'm quite interested to know what theirs are. But yeah, trying to make this movie was one of the most like difficult things ever, because I made the script like a few months back, and I needed to get actors for it, which I didn't think would be such a difficult thing, <laughs> but it really was. Because like my tutor like mentioned like hey how about you uh ask these people from these like acting companies and see if they'll help you. It was like oh they might do it for free but you'll probably have to pay for the transport and stuff. So I was like yeah you can't really go wrong with that. So <laughs> I mean I guess you can once you start to find out like how much it would cost to do that. Like I thought if it would be like from Cardiff, I'd be like, oh yeah, maybe that would be a fine thing to do. But I found out that, like, the website was like from places like Birmingham, Manchester, and, uh, you know, London and shit like that. So shit started to get like more expensive. So I was kind of like, you know what, this isn't going to be the best movie I ever make. So, I don't know, I kind of want to do it with <clears throat> people I kind of know and who I think are kind of good. But then, <laughs> towards the end, it kind of became a desperate thing. I believe I was supposed to start filming it in December, but I didn't do that. I kind of did it. I started filming it January 7th, 6th, and uh, yeah, so the deadline for my uh, film was January the 11th. So yeah, if you think about it, I was supposed to start filming in December. I didn't really have a lot of time to actually like do this shit. So, yeah, it was quite an experience, because originally I was going to film it down in Kamalan. So, for the first scene, as you probably know, it was, what was it? My first scene in that film was, so, yeah, so the first scene in that film was the uh, the part in my room where Alex and Jackson uh, come, or they, they do the finding the hippie guy, complain about it. So originally that was supposed to be in my room here, where they walk out the door here and then they're typing here. We tried doing that last, this one time, but we kind of ran out of the time. And I was actually going to be in it originally, but I was kind of like, I don't know. I guess, yeah, we just ran out of time. So during the time we were going to do it next, we kind of got different actors by then. Or I found some people who were willing to do it. I was also supposed to have another friend of mine do it. But he didn't want to do it because he was doing like stuff with his course, which I understand. I'm kind of like, okay, fine, fair enough. So yeah, and I was also supposed to have the second scene in a classroom, in my media class. So I was going to do that originally, but I guess I kind of moved everything to Alba. Because, you know, like, it's, it's very difficult to get people kind of be available at a certain time, especially as I'm you know, growing up. I don't have many friends, <laughs> so I, I couldn't really ask that many people to do it. Or, I don't know, I guess they'd just be too busy or something. Yeah, and, and I guess the third scene was meant to be in the forest. So those are basically all the scenes. So, yeah, I guess I stuck to the original forest idea. So well, at least I did something right. <laughs> well, I stuck to So yeah, as you all probably know, actually no, I guess you, you won't really. Uh, so I got my friends George, Dewey, and Ivan to do the things acting for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it was good fun, besides the fact that I was kind of stressing out about getting everything done on time. Uh, but yeah, it was it was good. Oh shit, I forgot to talk about the equipment and that's all. When I, when I was trying to film, when, when I said that I was in Kamalan, but, but I ran out of time, I borrowed um, uni equipment for that, and one of the issues, I, I had multiple issues when I did that. Like, one, I, I guess one of the biggest issues I had with, the whole filming thing was the audio. So one of the uh, things was we had to use like the zoom thing. I don't know what it is. It's like you can plug a microphone lead into it and then you can like have a mic and it connects to that. Then you have like a source for audio. But like the cables for the mic 
they kind of made like a weird noise and it was just you know, horrible I guess so like the only way you could like have the sound correct was was to actually like kind of hold it in place and poor Ruben he had to do like everything <laughs> he had to film or the mic, I guess shit got complicated. So yeah, um, so that was one of the issues. I also asked to borrow some lights and I had to buy my own batteries for it, which was annoying because, you know, I was borrow borrowing equipment. I would think, like at least, you know, they'd have batteries in them, but no. Yeah, so I had to buy my own shit. And also I bought like a clapperboard, you know, what they kind of do in the beginning of takes, like, you know, top. On that, there was like this sellotape I just couldn't get off. I don't know why there was sellotape on there in the first place because there's like it's uh used like a marker to write on it, so I just couldn't manage to get that shit off. So I had to buy my own sellotape, so altogether that was 10 quid. But think about it this is shit like the uni gives to you for free that should be working fine, but you've got to pay 10 pounds <laughs> for shit to work. And still, the audio, I couldn't really fix that. So that was kind of fucked. So I couldn't really do anything about that. So yeah, that was annoying. So what I did was I had to buy my own lights, which basically cost around like 75 quid. <laughs> They're not even the best, but you know what? I think they did a good job for what they uh, offered, I guess. So yeah, I had to buy the lights and the tripods. So um, yeah, I think it was all right. I mean, I think, I mean, the reason why I also bought them because I thought that they would be like a good investment. So, yeah, I, maybe I'll probably use them in the future. Because I do plan on making more films. So another thing I did on the day before, or the, the day, yeah, before shooting, I bought uh, like a Sony mic thing. I don't have it to show with me right now. But I bought one of those and then I bought like this cable for it. But there wasn't an SD card for the Sony thing. So <laughs> we thought maybe this cable would connect to the laptop, So it, but it didn't. So I guess I recorded all that audio for it not to work, <laughs> which is horrible. Because <laughs> I basically spent like 30 quid on that. As you probably know, the uh, outcome of the movie. So the first scene was in my bedroom, the second scene was in my living room, and the third scene was in the forest that I lived next to. I think it kind of turned out okay for what I had. I mean, I don't know. And you wouldn't believe for that last shot in the uh, forest at night time. We were only at the forest two hours before that when there was like light there. <laughs> but the two hours later, there was, it was just dark and absolute freezing. I like tried to set up the lights and by the time I had a bit of audio. I tried to put everything back. I could not feel my hands at all. Like I had to, like for turning the lights on, it's kind of like a, like a scroll. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, yeah, you have to basically scroll it to turn it on and off and to make it more stronger and stuff. <clears throat> yeah, so I tried to scroll that, but I just, I could not feel it because my thumb was like so blue or purple. I don't know, it was dark. And yeah, it was just so difficult, it was so awkward, so I didn't know what to fucking do. So yeah, I mean, we did that, I mean, not that it was just, I mean, actually, I was there on my own. <laughs> yeah, so I was in a forest, um, the night time, all by myself, not creepy at all. <laughs> oh well, the things you do for a movie. I know, honestly, it wasn't like the best movie ever. To be honest, it's one of my first professional ones, I guess. Well, I think, what? A few of the big films I made is what, the Rockstar advert, and, well, this one, and I think I would say What's It Run. I wouldn't really count, I don't know, vlogs, because I didn't really put time and effort into these, because I'm like the What's It Run and Rockstar advert, and the one I did a few days ago, <laughs> for Cover School already, Alien Documentary. I actually, like, you know, did storyboards and everything for that. So I think, like, I actually tried with these. And, yeah, so this is the first one I actually had a script for. So I thought it was really, um, an interesting <laughs> idea, to put it. I mean, I don't know, it was challenging, definitely. Like, I've never done anything like that on my own before. 
Uh, if I had to work with those actors, man, or if you had to work with those actors, you'd find it, I know, frustrating as well, I guess. I mean, like, to be fair, I guess I kind of made it seem like it was a fun thing. I mean, it was. Like, I kind of wanted to have that idea to it, even though <laughs> I wanted it to be like a serious thing. But, I mean, at the end of the day, they are friends, so I guess they are gonna fuck around when you try and do serious shit. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I would say that I wrote the script, but I guess what the actors did, they kind of, uh, what's it called? The thing like they, they, do, they do in the, what, you know when they make the script up? I don't, I forgot what it's called, but they basically did that. So they kind of went with the same story structure. So, um, yeah, like sometimes I feel like some of the, uh, the jokes didn't really pay off because they didn't follow it exactly. So I mean, I'm, I'm just saying, like, you know, I'm not, I'm not wrong. Like, I guess you can't fully say it was all to me, unless if you think it's amazing, then yes, I did all of the jokes. But yeah, so there's also like obviously there's gonna be sound issues because I couldn't actually use the uh, audio in the end. But so if you probably like listen through it again, you can probably hear me go. <laughs> Because, like, it got really cold in that forest. Well, I think even maybe in the room. But, I think, yeah, there's this... I just kind of wanted to say, like, I know it's not, like, the best thing ever. I mean, I know... But the thing is, I guess, I'm, I think it's okay, because I made it. And I haven't really made a lot of things before. So this is kind of like a... I basically put a lot of work and effort into this, so I guess I'm kind of proud of it. So yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm hoping to make more content like this. And yeah, like I hope you guys are willing to uh, be on the journey of me trying, succeeding, failing, experimenting. I want to, I don't know, be good at something. And I feel like this is kind of a way of doing so. I, I hope you look forward to some ideas that I got coming up. Not that I have any right now, but I feel like I can. So I just hope you look forward to seeing what I have in store. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I haven't really made a vlog in a long time, so maybe 17 minutes will make up for it. So, I'm not gonna bother saying, I don't know, like and subscribe. Just kidding, I am. Like and subscribe, please. And I wanna bring up, I guess it's probably pretty obvious that, and I think I've talked about this in a few episodes now, but that I don't get much, I don't know, views like I used to. Um, like, I'm not really, I, I used to be bummed down by it. Not, I guess that sounds wrong. I guess I used to feel quite bad about it. But now I'm kind of, and I, get, I guess I'm con I've gotten used to the fact that, you know what, I'm, I'm cool with it. <laughs> if there's people that, no, I don't know, I'll talk about it some other time. So hey guys, I hope you like this video, and I'll try and upload more, like, film shit. <laughs> you know you want to see that. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you around, I guess. Bye. I don't know what the off button is.